The very unfortunate news that the president would suggest in his budget that we terminate the Constellation project, which is the Ares 1 and the Ares 5 heavy lift vehicle, shows just how far out of touch this administration is with our manned spaceflight program. This Constellation program represents four and a half years and billions of dollars of research and development and successful testing while we're challenging our international um, countries such as China, India, and Japan uh, as a leader for us to be a leader in space. We regret this decision. We understand that it's a suggestion. We in Congress will fight this every step of the way. We realize that this is about jobs for Huntsville, Alabama, but more importantly, it's about manned space flight. It's the soul of America. It's the culture of America. Exploration and the challenge that we meet and that we have met in the past is uh, something that apparently our administration, the Obama administration, is unclear about. When President Kennedy met this challenge because of Sputnik, we rose to the occasion and we showed that we were number one in space. This president's being challenged and has not accepted the challenge, but we in the manned spaceflight community, we in Huntsville, Alabama, and other parts of the United States will accept that challenge. Congress will accept that challenge. And we believe that turning over uh, our manned spaceflight program to international allies or commercial vehicles who are, that are not human rated, they're not safe, uh, we have spent four and a half years making sure that when we send astronauts into space that it's the safest thing that we can do. We are so disappointed in this administration that uh, words really can't describe it. I think every member of our delegation from Senator Shelby to Senator Sessions to every congressperson is just so, so disappointed in this. And uh, we hope that as we move through Congress and we talk to our Congress people, that we'll, that we'll have them understand that, that this is a challenge that America wants. We can meet it. And we will once again uh, continue to be uh, number one in space, manned spaceflight. What do you think that